Hey guys, how's it going? So I did a little bit more work on it. Took it out for a quick spin. Like surprisingly light. Um, at least you, now you can pedal the damn thing. It doesn't feel like you're trying to pedal a bus. Um, I ended up cutting the back off here. I drilled a hole and um, refastened the clip for the, the back light. I'm, I'm going to use my Rock Bros. Actually works pretty good. Just have to figure out how I'm going to put it on there. Uh, the brakes work great. Uh, the shifters work amazing. This here is a problem. Um, what they should have did with this uh, bolt meter or display is made the the clamp extra large so it fit around the th thicker part of the bar, like here. Um, unfortunately, it goes on the very end, which is not going to work for me because I got shifters. Um, I used a little magic goo. Shugu the stuff works pretty good for e-bikes. Um, it's solid on there. Like you can't, if you wanted to rip that off, you could, and it's not going to damage the uh, clamp, and the glue doesn't stain. Uh, just it dries as like a soft rubber, and you can just peel it off and um, redo it. So it's it's pretty good for that. Did the same thing with the brake. Uh, the brake didn't work properly because the uh, obviously, this sensor here is only good on this side, and it was laying flat. So it was on the bleeding edge of working. Every time you would tilt the magnet, it would work. So I stood it up, glued it with shoe goo, and it's at the perfect distance. Uh, one thing it's easier to do with this this is type of display, uh, to set the e-brake up, uh, to see if it's working or not. You can actually see on the display this little um, brake light will come on and off letting you know that it's uh, activating. So it's pretty easy to, to set up. The actual controller itself isn't bad, to tell you the truth. Um, one and two on your, your mode is, eh, it's all right. I mean, you have to slow, you have to pedal pretty slow to keep up with the, uh, the mode. But anything beyond that, like level five, is like a 500 watt e-bike. It's like, it actually moves pretty good. The only thing that's different between what I had before is if you get a headwind, it slows you down a bit. And I can imagine going uphill will slow you down a bit. But when it comes to efficiency, it's I have a feeling this thing is going to go quite far on one charge. A um, few last things I have to do, like I had to paint the frames where I had to grind it down because that will rust right out. Um, I'm not too sure why, but the plate that was on the back there, after I mounted it and and tighten it down and straighten itself out so we don't even have to touch that. The brakes work fine. I didn't have to bleed the back. I gotta phone the shop and see about getting a new front wheel. The uh, I checked the forks out, cleaned them up, they're perfectly fine. So they're good for a couple more rides. Yep, it's uh, doing pretty good. Um, besides the fact that this clamp on this uh, display isn't uh, reading properly, or clamping down properly it's not bad i mean i prefer it in the middle versus over on the side anyway i get why they did that though because if you were like this you can just change it from on the fly i'd actually like to try this controller with my booster pack i know it's risky i might blow it up but it would be nice if i had an extra pack on the back here including the other two um it will definitely well, it'll add at speed to it, but it'll also add distance to it. So well, I'm going to look into it. I have the other piece right here. I'll have to cut it out and somehow wire it in to this harness here. And then what I'll do is I'll make an extra plug, which I'm sure I got in one of these boxes around here, where I can just, if I'm not using the three packs, I can just terminate it and use the two. But uh, I figured I'd give you an update. Yeah. Still not used to the fact that it's not as fast as it was. Oh, I'm also going to have to do a video and repack these pedals here. Um, they're getting really, really, really tight. I don't know. I think the oil is drying up in them. And like this thing, look at it. It's just, it's tight. Super tight. Way too tight for my liking. Uh, if I leave it, they might seize. So I'm going to have to figure out a way how to open these up and uh, fix them up. But that's for a separate video. Take it easy, guys.